Today we have Dr. McGuire with us uh, to talk about Bloom's Taxonomy. Uh, once again, Dr. McGuire is the Assistant Vice Chancellor for Learning, Teaching, and Retention here at LSU. Thanks for coming in again. Great, it's good to be here. So, uh, what is Bloom's Taxonomy? Yes, great question. Bloom's Taxonomy is actually a classification system that really looks at different levels of learning. And it starts with the very lowest level, which is just memorizing information, then after that is understanding, then applying, then analyzing, then evaluating, and then creating is at the top. Okay, and that's increasing uh, in terms of you know, difficulty, I guess? Absolutely, in terms of uh, the mental uh, processes that you need in order to be able to effect each one of those levels. Okay, and I want to talk about each level specifically. Sure. Uh, so let's start with uh, level one, remembering. Yes, um, that's just memorizing information verbatim. If you are told to study something, you memorize all the definitions, you memorize all the formulas, and you kind of stop there. Okay, and uh, the second level is understanding? Absolutely, it's one level up. Not only at this point do you remember those things, but you can actually restate them, put them in your own words, and do what I like to describe as you could take the information, explain it to your 80-year-old grandmother or your eight-year-old nephew in words they understand if you're at the understanding level. And so really, ideally, you would want to study with someone to, to get to this understanding. That would be great, because if you're explaining it to someone, then you're certainly implementing that understanding level. Okay, and, and what's the third? The third level is applying, and that's where you not only have remembered the information, you can put it in your own words, but you can use it to solve problems you've never seen before, answer questions you've never seen before. You can apply that information to another task. Okay. Uh, is this about where college is, is coming in now? I'd say the very beginning of college, absolutely, but okay. it really requires even those higher levels. Okay, which is, the, the next one is analyzing. Absolutely, and analyzing means that you could take any concept and really break it down into the components that went into that concept, do an analysis, analysis of it to see what the overall concept is. And so that involves, if uh, someone asked you to explain uh, let's say a, what a buffer solution is. You could talk about all of the different concepts, weak acids, strong acids, anything that goes into that discussion if you're at analyzing. Okay, and uh, level five is evaluating. Yes, and so. actually there was a, an older version of Bloom's which some of our uh, listeners, our, our viewers might be familiar with where the next level was not at the creating level I'm sorry, not at the evaluating level, it was at the creating level, but now the evaluating level says that you know all this information, you can put it in your own words, you can analyze information, so now you can look at two ideas, two theories, two ways of solving a problem, and determine whether one of them is more likely to be effective than another. Okay, and the last level is uh, creating. Absolutely, and so now that means that you could actually come up with your own theories, your own ideas, your own processes about how something should be done. Can you change uh, once you start your collegiate career? Can you change levels? Oh, absolutely. We see that all the time because typically in high school, students have been operating just at the memorization and understanding level, but we can teach them how to move themselves higher, that they really are analyzing concepts and that are now able to come up with their own theories and own processes. Okay. Well, thanks for coming in. Uh, for more information, please visit our website.